What's up guys, we're back with my top 25 rarest and most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We have done the top 10 before, but a lot of things have changed and I've gotten a lot of new cards since then. So before we get started, I'll be giving away these eight cards, two pack fresh premium pack four cards that we pulled and an entire master collection one set. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this opening or your most expensive card. So let's get into it. The number 25 card. We have the Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare. See, this is a little bit lower. It's number 25. It didn't even make the top 10 list, but it is a mint nine. So that kind of brings it down quite a bit. The PSA 10 is worth quite a lot, but this one's only worth about $1,000, which is still a ton for a Yu-Gi-Oh card, of course, but still, it is worth a little bit less. So we have a PSA 9 Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. You guys have seen this one in the outro many times, but a very cool card. Glad it made the top 25 at least. So that's number 25, Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. At number 24, we have a Jinzo. This is the one that I pulled in the every pack opening where I opened every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! But unfortunately, I did not record this actual pull. I recorded my face cam and my camera actually did not even start because I didn't press the record button. So if you have not seen that crazy video, make sure to check it out. One of my best videos. The Genzo was in like one of the last packs is in reverse order, but it ended up getting a BGS nine. Unfortunately, it was 0.5 away from a 9.5, which is kind of, kind of sad, but that's okay. This card is worth maybe about 1250. So the values in this video will be based on either sales and if there's no sales it's just kind of a guesstimation of what we what i've seen what's for sale etc so don't take them you know to heart if they're more or less than what you think they may or may not be completely accurate it's just how it works with psa and bgs cards you never really know the full value uh until it sells so this one i think is worth around about 1250 so 12 or 1250 dollars I think it could have gotten a 9.5, but it didn't quite get there. So that's number 24 on the list. Next, we have a PSA 9 Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition Flame Swordsman. This came from the first box I opened when I opened Legend of Blue Eyes back in March of 2020. This one surprisingly had a sale on eBay for over 1250 it was like 1260 or something like that it was a lot more than i thought it would be worth it's one of the most popular super rares from lob so i know the 10 would be a ton of money but i didn't realize the nine would be worth as much so based off that sale that's where i got this value um it may or may not be worth a little bit more but that is pretty awesome a flame swordsman unfortunately didn't get the 10 it was way oc honestly i thought it was going to get an eight but we will take that at number 23. At number 22, we have Right Leg of the Forbidden One. So this is a PSA 9. This is one that I got from that big collection we bought. This card's worth a little bit over $1,300, which is pretty good for a PSA 9. It is an ultra rare though. So if you consider it could have been a blue eyes, that in a nine is worth way more than this. So one of the lower values for ultras, but still really cool. This is not one of the most desired Exodia limbs, not on the left side, but it is still a decent card. Pretty nice. Right leg of the forbidden one at number 22. At number 21, this card is basically the same value as the right leg. The left leg is a little bit harder to get. This one is a BGS nine though, and BGS nines are usually worth a tiny bit less than PSA nines. So, and as you see, we got the 8.5 centering. You guys remember this video. We got killed on these guards, but this is the left leg. This is the one we pulled out of the second box we opened that was worth over $17,000. Overall, just a nice card, but not worth much more than the last card. So number 21. At number 20, I have one that I really do not know the value. This was mostly a guesstimation. So this is a Magician of Faith from Champion Pack 2, PSA 10. So Champion Pack 2 is pretty tough to come by now. Pretty rare pack then this is probably the most, it is the most expensive card from the set. Magician of Faith is very hot because of GOAT format. However, you don't see these sell very much in PSA. So I had to basically just guess a value because I think they're around 400 near mint, something like that. So I put it around 1500 just based on $400 near mint value. It's a pretty rare card, pretty not a very high pop for it. I guess maybe $1,500 value could be less for sure. Maybe could be more. I don't know. You guys have to let me know in the comments what you think about these values. Go ahead and put down if you've seen a sale, maybe a private sale that's happened because the private sales I can't look up, obviously. So I guessed around 1500 could be less, but that's number 20 for us. Next, we have a PSA card. This is a PSA 10 dark hole. So I couldn't find really many sales, any recent sales at least. I found one from like November, but that was a long time ago. Um, but this was based off of a other PSA 10 super rare sales I've seen. So from LOB, I'd seen other cards like Trap Hole sell for over $2,000 on eBay. So like this card has to be worth around that because this card should be worth more than Trap Hole, I would think. 
Dark Hole, PSA 10. This is a wavy print, so if you guys don't know what wavy is, you guys can see those ripples going through there. That is the wavy variety. Just kind of a cardstock variety. Some people really prefer it, some people don't care at all. I personally like both, I don't really care necessarily. But this is a PSA 10, so I'm valuing it at around $2,000. Could be a little bit less, but when cards like Trap Hole sell for $2,000 or more, then this card has to be around there, that's what I think. Number 18, speaking of the devil, we have the Trap Hole. That is the only reason the Dark Hole is there. So I have two of these. One of them is, yeah, PSA just got crazy with that, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> so I have two of them. This is the other one we graded the other day. This one does not have the stuff on the back, fortunately. Two of these, I saw a sale on eBay. It was over $2,000, like $2,014 or something. And once I saw that, I knew that this being probably the worst super in LOB, that Dark Hole had to be worth around the same. So these went for $2,000. I don't really know, that seems so high to me, but I guess when packs are that expensive, that even a super rare is gonna like break even. But pretty nice, we got two of those actually, so that's pretty cool. Two trap holes from LOB at number, what, 18 are we at? Next up we have the Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon Misprint. This is the fusion version from Gladiators Assault. So in Gladiators Assault, they were supposed to have a Ghost Rare Chaos Neos. So that's the picture right here, that's a Chaos Neos should be called Elemental Hero Chaos Neos, but there was an error where the name is completely wrong. It says Rainbow Dragon. It's not extremely rare. Like there's a there's a decent amount of them. It's pretty common, but it's so cool because it's a Rainbow Dragon on a ghost rare. So it's just like crazy. There's also a tactical evolution version where it says Rainbow Dragon, but it has a picture of the Chaos Neos. So it's just, it's crazy. There's just wacky misprints, but this one is the less valuable one. This one is more common, but I would say it's worth around $2,000. It's hard to tell because you don't see the graded ones sell very much. You see the raw ones go for like seven, eight, nine hundred, something like that. But with the mint copy I have, so it has an 8.5 surface, which is probably because of like print lines or something, but it is still a pretty valuable card. I would say around $2,000. I'm not totally sure. If anyone knows of a sale of a, P a BGS 9, maybe a 8.5, or I think there's a 9.5 somewhere, let me know, we can kind of figure out the value there, but I'm gonna go with $2,000 on number 17. At number 16, we have a card you guys will always remember from that epic video when we pulled the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Unfortunately, it graded a mint nine. I think it's pretty fair grade because there was a little bit of a, a line down there, if you guys can see that right there. But still pretty awesome card. We pulled that in the 20K special when we opened up all kinds of old stuff. You guys definitely need to check that video. If you have not seen it, maybe watch it again because it was pretty good. This Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, before it didn't make the top 10, it wasn't it wasn't worth like maybe like 900 bucks or something when I graded it. But now I saw a sale for $2,025. So it's worth quite a bit in a nine now. The tens are just insane, but still a pretty valuable card at nine at number 16 on our list. Number 15, we have another Ghost Rare. Here is the Mint 9. I never cracked it and resubbed it. Black Rose Dragon. I mean, just a beautiful card. The, the foil on this is like super clean. It's super clean. It's super nice. I think this one has a chance at 10, but I have not regraded it. I haven't cracked it. Pretty nice card overall. I mean, just amazing. The chances of pulling this are 1 in 288 because it's a Ghost Rare. It's also from those first edition Crossroads of Chaos, which you can only get from pre-release or those specific tins. So it's really tough to get those packs. Then you have such a tiny chance to pull it. The card is just really popular, really valuable. So it's one of the newer cards on here. It's like 2008 when it was released. Uh, I think Retro Pack was also a little bit later for Blue Shining, but still one of the newer ones. There was a sale for $2,400. So it's a pretty valuable card in nine. In 10, it's worth like eight, nine. Like it's crazy, it's way more but I just I don't have the courage to break it. I'm scared that I'll, I'll damage it or something because it's so beautiful as a nine, but that is number 15 on the list. At number 14, we have Monster Reborn First Edition from Legend of Blue Eyes. So this one, I think my price is a little bit low. What I found on it was a sale for like 2,600, like maybe $2,700, something like that. I think that's a little low compared to the other ultra prices I've seen, but there was another sale, so I couldn't really bump it up without any sort of evidence i didn't want to guesstimate higher than the already sale that was already posted so we have it around 2700 bucks still a really valuable card it's a gym mint 10 lb first edition ultra so a super nice card but i think it might be worth a little bit more but this is number 14 we pulled this one in the first box i opened pretty amazing 
The next card, and the main reason I think the Monster Reborn is a little bit undervalued, this is number 13, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Gym Mint 10. This card sold for over $3,200, so I'm thinking, is this card worth that much more than Monster Reborn? It just doesn't seem right to me. I feel like Monster Reborn is more valuable than Gaia, but this this sale was you know $600 more, so I'm not totally sure. Guy of the Fierce Knight, but this one did sell for $3,200, so I got to place it higher than Monster Reborn. Pretty nice Gym Mint 10 card. I've graded like three of these. We got a BGS 9, a PSA 9, and we, of course, the PSA 10, so a pretty cool card. Glossy print. Good to see. At number 12, we have, you guys have seen this in that trade we made, Dark Paladin First Edition from Magician's Force. This is the error art, not the corrected art. The corrected art is worth a little bit more than this one. So if you open First Edition Magician's Force, you're going to get this card, but you were not supposed to get this art. You were supposed to get the other one. So you could send this card in and get the corrected art. But most people didn't do that, so this is kind of the one you get. They used the DMG, the Dual Master's Guide art, by accident, apparently. So they accidentally put this one in there. So this card is worth a little bit less because it doesn't have the lore behind it that the other one does. But I think it's actually pretty close in terms of how many are available in Gem Mint 10. It's a really nice card. So it sold for $3,300, so it's worth a little bit more than that Gaia. Really nice artwork, just really cool card. Big fan of that one, so that is number 12. At number 11, we have the card that I put up for sale, but I didn't ever sell it. The Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare from Cybernetic Revolution. Right now, the highest offer I've had on it is $3,500. I didn't want to sell it for that. I felt like it should be worth more, but because I haven't seen a sale for it and I haven't had a higher offer, then I can't really go higher than that. So we're going to value it at about $3,500. PSA 10, Cyber Dragon Super Rare. Really nice card, I kept it because I really like it. And that is number 11 on the list. Now we're cracking into the top 10. This card you guys have seen before, the Cyberdark Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition. I haven't seen a price on this since the last video, which is unusual. Most of the cards, I think Cyber Dragon and this one are one of the only cards that haven't like had a price. So this one I'm valuing at about $3,500 still because I haven't seen a sale for it, haven't seen an offer for it because I don't put it up for sale or anything. Um, so I'm just still sticking with $3,500. I think it's totally worth that because just so difficult to pull in hobby boxes. Then you got to get the 10. Then it's just, I mean, just look at it. It's amazing. I think it's a really cool card. Definitely worth the top 10. It's kind of tied with the Cyber Dragon though. About the same value. I'm not totally sure. There's a little bit of a foil shift, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we're going to say it's number 10 on the list. At number nine, we have a card that is also worth probably about 3,500. There was a sale at $3,500. So it's more confirmed than the other two. I've seen people put these up for 4,000 on Instagram. Not sure if they sold or not but maybe it could be worth a little bit more than 3500 but this is the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon from Magic Ruler. This is the Hobby Secret Rare from the third set in Yu-Gi-Oh! So really cool card. Obviously, it's a Blue Eyes card. Everybody loves that. Toons are, people are big fans of Toons, so it's a really cool card. I graded this when I opened a Magic Ruler first edition box two years ago. You guys can check out that super old video if you want. It was worth about 275 310 at that point. I'm glad I held on to it because now, now it's worth quite a bit more. So that is number nine in our top 25. Next for number eight, we have another card we got in that epic trade for Gaia. We have the Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. I've not seen a sale for this in a while, so I just valued it at what we traded it for. $3,600, so it's worth a little bit more than those cards. Invasion of Chaos, first edition. I mean, one of the most iconic cards, just very powerful card. Everyone loved this card. I mean, it looks really awesome. It's super powerful. Yeah, it's just iconic. So it's a great card. I'm a big fan. Invasion of Chaos is so hard to find in sealed. So getting one of the best pulls in PSA 10 is really strong, I think. So $3,600 value on number eight. Number seven, this one is very tentative at the spot it's at. It could be a lot lower. It could be a lot higher. So this one is a pop seven Royal Decree from Tournament Pack 4. You guys see that right there. This is the Ultra Rare. If you guys don't know about Tournament Pack, Tournament Pack had a 1 in 108 chance of pulling an Ultra Rare. There's only one per set. And then, of course, they're just really tough to find now because they were only given out for like tournaments and stuff. And then you just can't really find them anymore because they weren't, they didn't go up for sale for years. And then most of them had been open for the tournaments. So this card was pretty good back then. So a lot of people wanted to open up and get it. Pop 7 PSA 10. The reason I have this at about $4,000 is I heard that someone had gotten an offer. This is why it's so tentative. Someone had gotten an offer for $4,000. I asked him what he actually sold it for. He hadn't gotten back to me by the time I recorded this video. If he has, maybe I'll edit it in. But $4,000 is supposedly what he was offered for this card. I believe it because it is a pop seven. If someone's trying to complete the ultras, they need to make a big offer for it. I can see it being around 4,000 because ultra rares from tournament pack are so rare. So this is a really cool card. 
it could be like 2000 I mean, for all I know, you guys will have to let me know if you guys have bought one. I bought this at 600 but it was over a year ago. So I think I got a pretty good deal on that. And I'm pretty uh, pretty happy to own it because I do want to get the Ultra Rares one day. I have six out of eight. Probably will never get Mech Chaser after that recent sale. Probably will never get Needleworm because there's only four of them. But let's continue on anyway. <laughs> that is number seven. At number six, we have another one I could not find a legitimate sale for. But I'm pretty sure that it's worth quite a bit. Because if you've seen the B-Skull sale recently, we'll get to that soon. This card is probably going to be worth around that. I still got to get this off the case. Summon Skull PSA 10 from Metal Raiders. I think Summon Skull is probably going to be worth more than B-Skull, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little bit less. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer Summon Skull or B-Skull in the comments? Metal Raiders First Edition. Just an amazing card. Slight fade to the card. I mean, who doesn't love this card? It's really nice. So I have this at number six, valued at about 4,000, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? When there's a sale, I'll, maybe I'll find out. So that's a really cool card. Cracking into the top five, we have... Chaos Emperor Dragon First Edition Invasion of Chaos. So this is another one we got in the trade. Of course, the Summon Skull was as well. This one sold on eBay for just over $4,500. So this is a very expensive one. A really awesome card. I mean, just absolutely iconic, like Black Cluster Soldier. The secret rare from the Hobby Invasion of Chaos boxes. Really tough to find those boxes now. Just an iconic card. Absolutely awesome to have this one. One of my favorite cards I own now, which is one of the... I mean, this card and BLS were the, like the main reason I did that trade. Well, someone's, I guess I just loved all the cards in that trade, let's be honest. But such a cool card, around $4,500, number five on my list. Love to have this one. We are at number four, and we don't have one card for number four. We don't have two, but we have three cards because I still own three B-Skull Dragons from Metal Raiders. I was planning on trading one and the guy just never got back to me. So I never heard from him. So I still have three of these. There was a sale the other day for 4,600 and some odd dollars. It was over $4,600 on eBay. It was an auction. So it looked like it was legit. Just crazy amount for this card. I got all three of these in different ways. I pulled one, I purchased one as a tin, and then I purchased one in a collection. So I graded two of them and one I bought graded. Such an epic card. I mean, selling for over $4,600. That's why I kind of think Summon Skull has to be worth at least $4,000. Really cool card at number four. I still have four of them. If you guys have a trade offer for me, hit me up. I would love to trade for something epic that I don't have in my PSA collection. Next, we have Red Eyes Black Dragon at number three. So this is only a BGS9. You're like, wow, is that worth that much? Yeah, BGS9. It got an 8.5 service. This originally was a PSA9. So I feel confident valuing it around that value because it's been a nine for both companies so it's around that value psa nines usually go for about five thousand so maybe this one's probably worth a little bit less because it does have the bgs label even though it has formerly been a nine i would say a little bit over that b skull of 4600 maybe like 47 48 somewhere in there who knows this card has gotten so expensive in psa 10 that even the nines are worth multiple thousands it's pretty crazy from the original box we opened, just the crazy video. If you have not seen that by now, just check it out. It was awesome. This is my third most valuable card. I love this card. Unfortunately, it did get the nine, but still really cool. So that's number three. Finally, the second card. You guys have seen one of these already, Jinzo BGS9, but this one is a PSA 10. We pulled this in a Pharaoh Servant Booster Box in 2019 and graded it a 10. This card is worth about $6,000 now. I heard there was a sale for about a little bit under 6,000, I believe. And he said he got offers after he sold it for $6,000. So it's pretty crazy, pretty high value card for, I mean, it's a really awesome secret. One of the best secrets, iconic monster. A lot of people want this card. Fairly low pop compared to a lot of other cards. I think it's in like the fifties, maybe something like that. So it's not crazy low, but it's also not that high. So really cool card. PSA 10 Jinzo from Pharaoh Servant is our second most valuable card. And finally the card, that you guys knew was coming. The Morphing Jar from TP2. This card's value has changed dramatically since the last 10. Last time we valued it around 8,000, but I hadn't had a sale in a long time. I just had offers. This card sold on eBay just a couple of weeks ago for $15,000. Bruh. Yes, $15,000 for this one card. It is insane. It is a lot of money, but this card is iconic. It's from TP2, the rarest tournament pack, I think is widely accepted as the rarest tournament pack. Gym at 10. I think there's 22 of them, so there's a decent amount out there. But a lot of there's a lot of people with multiple copies, and they're not really looking to sell. So there's really not that many available. So it's a really cool card. It sold at 15 grand. I mean, it's just nuts. By far the most valuable card in my collection, and one of my favorites because I acquired it through a trade and then graded it as a 10. So it was really cool. 
This is number one in my top 25. Really awesome card. So overall, you guys have seen some pretty cool cards today. Let me know your most valuable card in the comments. I want to see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top 25 rarest and most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Maybe we'll do an update in like a year or so and see what it looks like because right now it's uh, it's getting pretty crazy. We're getting some pretty cool stuff. Also, I want to remind you guys to enter this Volcanic Doomfire giveaway on the community tab. Go follow the instructions there if you want to enter, and I'll be giving that away in about a week. Also, I announced the giveaway winners, so if you guys check out the community tab, you can see if you want to giveaways. So I know you guys have been begging for that for a while. There's a ton of winners on there, so contact me if you guys want something. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs> Up next, next.